We're all sharing our interesting dating stories. Everybody has one. You heard some of ours. Cheryl White and Ira Summer are joining us this morning here on The Nine. They're the hosts of a local podcast. It's called Date Talk, and it explores the world of finding that special someone. But I did have a guy once that I went on a date with, and then a year later he sent me a text. <laughs> Okay. I, uh, but anyway, that's a different story. We'll have to get, wrangle we'll, him in here. We'll have to see if we can get him in here and see what he was thinking. Because, yeah, that's the kind of thing I might do. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. <laughs> but well, why I'll do you wait a year to send the text? Anywho, one of the most unique things about their podcast is that they talk to both people who went out on a date to see how it went. And sometimes person A has a different story than what person B has to say. Cheryl and Ira, the host of the podcast, join us this morning. Thanks both so much for being here. I listened to your podcast with Ash and Michael, and in this couple, we had a couple of issues. One lived in the East Bay, one was in San Francisco. One ate bread, the other didn't. When it comes to these, you know, these minor issues, is that keeping us from finding our perfect someone? You never know what really bothers you or what really attracts you. You don't actually, normally, I know when I got back to dating, I was married for 22 years. And when I got back to dating, I thought I had some idea of what I was looking for. Right. And it turns out that the things that really bother me, I had no idea. Right. And mostly the things that I do that bother everybody else, Yes. Uh, nobody told me. <laughs> oh, I see. You didn't know you were so annoying until you went on a first date. Yeah, and uh, to, to expand on what you said, is there a formula that people come with you, and do you have to break people out of this formula? One of the great things about your podcast is that you get to kind of talk them through because you're dating yourself. Right, well, the majority of our podcasts are either a date that I've been on that didn't go well or a date that Ira's been on that didn't go well. So we do a lot of talking about our own dating faults and the and inability to find the right person and occasionally we have another couple on as well we're um, trying to move towards having more other people so Ira and I aren't dating quite so frequently is it you surprising to, is it surprising that some people come away from a day with completely different right aspects like right. the guy could come away <laughs> high five and his friends are right. like she's gonna marry me yeah, yeah. she loves me and the girl's and like no away, way like, loser never again. definitely never oh that, Why that, that, that happens all the time Why? well part, part of it is is perception part of it is that, that if you're on you're really on your best behavior and you're not letting the other person know what, what's happening right you're not letting them know the thoughts that are inside your head right but sometimes it's just that you don't really you don't say everything you don't see everything the 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 things that are in your head that you hadn't actually verbalized the other person doesn't know uh, if you're especially if you're meeting somebody for the first time they don't know the little things that are inside your head. Yeah. That's the yeah. best part about date talk is we get to actually find out what it was that they were actually right. thinking about us right. which is what you don't normally get. Right. Is there a major mistake that people you think are making when they go dating? Uh, there are a lot of major mistakes that I'm making. <laughs> <laughs> I think that everybody makes their own, you know, particular mistakes. There, there's a lot of, you know, miscommunication is huge, huge. I'm like surprised people clear. still date because of this whole Tinder and the social right, media. Right, has really affected. I feel like part of me is like, I missed out on this whole new dating thing. I'm it so wasn't like the oh, days when I was dating. And I'm so thankful right? that I don't have to do it now. I am so thankful I don't have to deal with right swiping and, uh, you know, Match.com. I'm just so relieved. But I, take pride in, I take pride in being a gentleman, but do you think that kind of has, has disappeared a little bit with the social media aspect of dating? Well, I, 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 I don't know if it's social media that caused uh, chivalry to go away, <laughs> but <laughs> it is, uh, it's something that, uh, I, I don't know if it's, gone, if it's gone away or you just see, you just see it a little bit less. There are different Got aspects, it. different things people are looking for. And uh, if you're the kind, you know, some people are still looking for a night to sweep them off their feet. Right. Um, and some some guys don't realize that they're supposed to be a night sweeping. They, they're trying to not be that. So. What do you say to that person, uh, man or woman, who is thinking, I'm not really feeling it with this other person. Should I go on that second date when they are so willing? Well, from, from my, my perspective, I don't think that I'm good enough at reading people right. to be able to figure out completely on a, on one date. So you would go on that second date, I, even if you're probably sure this person isn't for you? There there are there are some times when I can tell right away it's a no. Right. Um, there are a lot of times when the person dating me can tell right away I'm a no. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but uh, it's very hard to tell you're a yes, and getting a second chance to, okay. to do that gives you a better perspective. Not everybody's okay. good at first dates. I gotta, I gotta ask you this question, yeah. because it's bothered me for decades. Who is she? Remember, <laughs> remember uh -oh. in the movie Swingers, Mikey? 
and he, he has this internal debate about when to call the girl. Right. right. So he gets the digits, he gets the numbers. Right. Is it that night? Is it the next day? Is it two days? Is there mm. an actual... That's so interesting because the know? podcast that you listened to, that was one of the disputes between right. the two. He texted her immediately that and night, said, I had a yeah. good time. Which seems nice and polite to me, but for her, she was like, what? It's Why little, did he text me right little, away? That's weird. It's been three hours. It's a like, little over-eager. Like, what's your time? Like, like 24 it's, hours? It's or? been 100 million years, but I would say at least wait till the next day. I don't know. I mean, I think it's polite. I mean, not right not to after. enter into a huge text, you know. See, that would give me a little, a little, little bit. But to say that was fun, thank you, or whatever seems... Yeah. It comes up as a little... Different. Maybe not at 2 in the morning. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not a what's up at 10 at Yeah, night, we know what that means, yeah. right. <laughs> All we right. could talk about this forever. So right. much. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we We have, Ira, we have posted a, a link to the date, uh, po the date talk podcast on our website, ktv.com. You can find it in the web link section under KTV Extra on the homepage. I will say that you have a lot of material to work with. Yes, yes. we do. And, and we will be on regular FM radio uh, by next month. Good. Right now you can find us at Ninth Floor Radio, though. Ninth Floor right. Radio. And you're right out of Laney College. Yes. Right, right up the street yeah. here in Oakland. All awesome. Right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for Good coming in. Good luck to you both. Thank Mike, you. I want to talk to you during the break, please. <laughs> <laughs> coming, up married, on, <laughs> coming up on Mornings on 2 of the 9.